Every single year I do a Samsung Galaxy DeX desk setup. And last year I did it with the Tab S8 Ultra. But this year I wanted to do it with the Galaxy Z Fold 5 just because it's such a cool smartphone. When it's closed, it's your typical candy bar, which you use to send out quick texts and check your email. But once you open it up and you look at that big seven inch display, you have access to so much more. Like if you're a power user, you can have multiple apps open, you can split them. You can even use a pen to jot your notes down. Now, part of this video is sponsored by Best Buy. They were kind enough to send out some of these devices to make this setup work. The first thing you're gonna need is a monitor to connect your phone to. You can do this wirelessly, but I prefer to do it with a cable just because you get better latency. I decided to go with the Samsung Odyssey G5. This is a very, very affordable monitor. It supports a QHD display, 165 Hertz, which is obviously overkill for the Samsung phone, but it supports 120 Hertz for the Xbox. But because it's curved, it kind of goes around you and it just immerses you in the content that you're looking at, especially when you're gaming. But here's the thing, this display is big enough that you can just have tons of windows open at the exact same time. Now, because there's only one display port and one HDMI port, I had to do a little bit of wizardry to make this work because the Xbox specifically uses HDMI, whereas the Galaxy phone, I had to use a dock in order to use a display port. Let me explain. This OWC Thunderbolt hub has four Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back, one on the front that connects to the Galaxy device and an extra USB-A port. Now, when I connect a Type-C to display port cable, it allows me to get a connection from the phone to the monitor. And then with the HDMI port, I have it directly connected to the Xbox. Now, because there are extra ports on this hub, I can use a dongle to connect a mouse or a keyboard or any other sort of peripherals. The cool thing though is this stand that I chose. It's by a company called Anulis. And this is a two-in-one charging device. It charges your Galaxy Fold wirelessly, even though technically the dock is charging it at the exact same time. But there's also a little pad on the bottom that charges any sort of wireless earbuds. Now the stand itself is nothing fancy. It's not made out of metal or aluminum. It's not super heavy. It is made out of plastic. It's definitely more affordable, but because it's adjustable, I'm allowed to have the perfect height beside the monitor. Now you're probably wondering why there's an Xbox on the right hand side. And because this is a gaming and productivity setup, I wanted the best of both worlds. You can technically use Xbox Game Pass to game directly on your Fold. But the problem is if you're gaming through DeX, it does introduce some latency. Not a big deal for some games, but it's kind of annoying if you're playing a lot of first person shooters. But the cool thing is if you take your Galaxy Z Fold on the road, you always have that option. The Xbox Series X, on the other hand, is a fantastic gaming device. Like, so many games are included with Game Pass. Tons of them you can play for hours on end. And because it's directly connected to this monitor and it's 120 hertz, you just get such a good experience. Plus, not everybody wants to work all day on the same display, so if you ever want to take a break, at least you have that opportunity. Now, there is an Xbox controller on the right-hand side, which I obviously use with the Xbox Series X, and it's mounted on a custom mount that I got from an Xbox event many years ago. You can also connect this controller to the Galaxy Z Fold 5 if you really want to, but obviously I mostly use it with the Xbox. In terms of audio, you can either connect a Bluetooth speaker if you really want to, or you can use headphones. I am using the Xbox wireless headset. This pairs up perfectly with the Xbox Series X. You don't have to pair anything, it just automatically detects it and you're good to go. And because there's a microphone included, I can use it to chat as well. Now, if you are using this for productivity, you plan on using Zoom calls, you can obviously use any of the cameras from the Galaxy device. It's gonna be much better than a regular webcam. But I think if you're using a gaming headset on your work calls, your boss is probably gonna think you're a raging gaming maniac. So instead, I have a pair of Galaxy Buds Pro on the wireless charger that I use specifically for productivity or for Zoom calls. As for the keyboard, you can use any Bluetooth keyboard or even one with a wireless dongle. I'm using the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini. This works with any laptop, Mac, PC, it doesn't matter, but it also works with the Galaxy smartphones. And I connected it via Bluetooth to the Galaxy device so that I can have a proper wireless connection and it works great. Like this keyboard has low profile mechanical keys. It's fairly quiet. So if you're on a call or if you're gaming, the person you're talking to is not gonna hear loud clicking noises and you can pair it up to like multiple devices so that even if you really wanted to, you could technically use this keyboard with your Xbox if there's any games that support it. As for the mouse, it's the same sort of idea. You can connect it to both devices if you want, but I really like this Razer Pro Click Mini. 
It's small, it's portable, it's very light, it has a bit of density to it, so it doesn't feel cheap or flimsy. I love the rubberized textures on the side so it doesn't slip out of your hand. It supports Bluetooth or a wireless connection, so you have the best of both worlds. But in this particular setup, I have it connected to the OWC Thunderbolt hub using the dongle. As for the mouse pad, it's just a Logitech desk mat. It's fairly cheap, under $30 Canadian, and it's just a gray mouse pad, which I feel works pretty well for this setup. It's mostly made out of nylon and polyester. It has rubberized rims around it, so it keeps a heavy material on the desk so it doesn't slip around when you're moving your mouse. It feels good, it looks good, you can wash it if it ever gets dirty, and I think it's long enough for this specific type of setup. Look, this is just a really cool setup. You have the Xbox Series X ready to go whenever you want a game, and then when you're done gaming, you can switch over to your smartphone to get some actual work done. Now, obviously you're gonna be living in a browser a lot using Microsoft Office and Google Docs, but the fact that you can have multiple apps open on a big 32 inch display really turns your smartphone into a proper desktop experience. Like a lot of people sleep on decks, but honestly, it's one of the coolest features you can get on a smartphone. And if you're someone out there who's like strapped for cash and can't afford a laptop or computer to go with your phone, this is the best way to do it. Now, obviously the Z Fold 5 is very expensive, so you're probably not gonna go for that, but if you pick up last year's S21 or S22, you can totally use an older device and get the exact same experience. Now, I'll be placing links to all of these devices in the description down below. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like button, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe.